Hello everyone, this is King Kong LT. This video, I will show you a solution that you can use Telegram application, not use your cloud server and King Kong cloud server. You can control the case 868A4 board or A8 board by ESP32. You can see I can like this. Uh, this is my Telegram, uh, this Telegram application, and this is my A4 board. And you just send the test uh, LD on and LD off. But also you can change this light, uh, such as I can send LD on. Uh, the telegram will feedback LD state is on, and the lamp is on. I have used the relay one uh, connect with this lamp uh, for country on and off. So if I send the command uh, relay off, uh, just like this, uh, type the message LD off, that the LD will be off. Also, if you can remote uh, search the state, like uh, just uh, input slash state. Send this state, uh, the LD will off, that will be feedback. Uh, this is remote country. You can use internet, you can in the world, in anywhere, you can remote country your A4 board and the relay output. Uh, this I have taken the video for the demo for country relay 1. Uh, you can change the code of country for relay 2, relay 3, relay 4. And also this board is A4 and this board is A8. Uh, or you can use my code. You can also integrate with the uh, H32B relay controller. If you use this relay controller, uh, such as 16 channel, uh, 32 channel, 8 channel, 4 channel, 2 channel, just use our this ESP module, voice module. You can download the freeware uh, to ESP8266 module. Uh, you can support the Telegram uh, to country every relay output uh, remotely without any card server. Just use Telegram's card server. Okay, let's look at uh, how to do with it. Uh, this is our computer. You can see I have posted the guide uh, to the ACRS smart controller form room. And uh, it totally have six steps. We can zoom out. You can see the six steps uh, you can control by the telegram. The first is you can create a telegram loop. Uh, you can see this is A4, that is a boat. This is a loop, uh, this is a chart with you, and it's a bridge uh, for telegram and the, your board. So we can first create the loop. So you can just open your telegram and search search for slash and you can input boat file. Uh, you can just global search. Global search, you need to input the slash on the first and uh, you can search uh, because I have already added this uh, boat father. So you can click and I have uh, used before. And uh, create the loop and then you can follow in the window. Uh, you can must uh, click start button because I have already start. When you uh, knew the first time use, this is a start button. I just uh, click or I can input slash and S-T-A-R-T. That means the robot is start. Okay, the start then will feedback uh, what you need to do. And the first you need to create your new robot because this bot father is for everyone to use. So you need to create your private robot. So you can press new bot, new bot. Because I have already have a new bot. If you have a new bot, you can choose a name. You can choose a name uh, such as KC868 A4 and send. Okay, it's feedback good. Uh, let's choose a username uh, for the robot. Okay, you can also choose KC868 A4 and the end must in BOT, bot. So I can use BOT and uh, send. Okay, it's, it's displayed. Uh, the username is invalid. So we can change our one, uh, like relay.
A for B O T. I like this. This is B O T. This is B O T. I can send. Okay, as you can see, congratulations, your new bot have quit. So this message is important. You need to save this message. You can see we have done the step three. And now the robot is quit successfully. And we need to save the token and the name. So we just uh, uh, save this information. And now you need to get your chat ID, user ID. So also you can in your uh, telegram and the search we can back and uh, press search slash idbot uh, you can see you can use the global search idbot oh I have uh, added just this then you can input uh, if you can't search you can just click this link uh, by your smartphone and you can input slash get ID like this I can input get ID uh, this is my my ID as a feedback so this is two information we have important for us this is this one is ID and uh, the before uh, is this one so we can copy this information and send it to our computer now you can see this is the notepad we have copied from our mobile phone and uh, this is the talking and this is talking is important and this is my chat ID okay now we have done the fifth step and now we can prepare the Arduino ID and you can download the library and the source code uh, from this link I have uh, prepared for you uh, you can download and after you download, you will find uh, these two files. Uh, this is the source code, and this is the library. We need to install the two libraries. Uh, this one is the robot library, and another is the Jensen format library. Uh, these two libraries. The first library, you just go to Sketch and include library and add the zip file. Uh, just you can open your Arduino IDE. Uh, this, this file, Arduino IDE, is open this one and uh, you just uh, scratch and uh, include library and uh, add the zip library and uh, choose uh, this zip file to install the library that will be easy and uh, this is step B install the library and the step C install the Arduino Jensen library also you can uh, go to the scratch include library and uh, menu Manage the library online. We can search uh, this one. We can copy and uh, scratch and uh, install library and manage libraries. And uh, this we can input the library name. And you can see as uh, this is file I have installed. Uh, you just install online, and uh, this is the newest version. After you install this library, we can back to the web page, install, and open the source code and replace the SSID password and the chart ID. Just only these three items uh, you can see. Uh, this is SSID, and this is the password, and this is talking, and uh, uh, this is chart ID. So this is the loader of your self SSID. I can input a king name. You not input my SSID. And the password also is yourself. And the talking. This talking, uh, you can copy uh, this, this string. And uh, copy and uh, paste. Paste. And the chat ID. The chart ID, you can see this is a number. Uh, this is for your chart. And if you have the second person or the third person, you can add the multi chart ID so that only you can control the relay on and off. Okay, uh, because uh, this is the pin of the IO2, because we have the relay is GPIO2, the relay 1, you can change by yourself. Uh, so I do not need to change, uh, just uh, 
you can see uh, the information inside is printed by the server part. And check if no problem, we just click and download. Uh, check your board is ESP node MCU uh, 32S and uh, set the download component and uh, download. Okay, now begin to download. Okay, download complete and you can enable the server monitor. Uh, you can see the state of the board. We can press the reset button. You can see it, it tried to connect Wi-Fi and the IP address is generated for the A4 board. And now we can uh, back and the search slash relay A4. As uh, you can see, uh, this is we have create. This is A4. And the first time uh, we need to use the new robot, we just press the start. And this is a command uh, that is LDR off and the state. This LDR means turn on GPIO on, and this LDR off that means turn the GPIO off. This stream can change by your Arduino code. And also we can see this is a feedback the start as a logo output. And now we can click or you can input a slash LDR. I, I need to save the time. I just click the LDR. And we can press LD off. Uh, you can see the LD is off. So now we can use this mobile phone uh, to control your lamp. Uh, just on, off, and change the state. Uh, this is how to use the telegram to control your lamp uh, for remote country in anywhere around the world. Thanks for watching.